Hi everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I am here today to show you how we take. I took these book pages, this is actually just one book page, and I created a couple of tags for Tag Tuesday, hosted by the wonderful Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. Now, um, I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to salvage that ripped edge or not. Nope, I don't think so, because I want that number on the bottom to be right side up. So... And just fold it over on itself. It's really nice when it has book pages because then you know you're a little bit over halfway. You know, well, at least when the numbers are centered on the bottom like that. You know. You get it folded like so. And I'm just using um, my glue stick today. But, if, you know, this is one of those things where you really should just use the glue, excuse me, use the glue that's appropriate for whatever book pages you're using. Um, you know, these, these book pages are really, um, porous, I guess would be a good word. They're not, um, so, so the, the, all I'm trying to say here is that the, the glue stick works well on these book pages, but if they were like shiny, if they were shiny instead of matte, it, I should probably use, or I would probably use a different kind of glue. I don't know why that was so hard to spit out. <laughs> but yeah, all you do is you just fold it over in thirds like that, and I didn't worry about the rough top. I'll go ahead and just straighten that out, and then just do a rough tag cut. I don't worry about getting them the same. That's obviously something you can totally do. Um, it's a little bit shy for me. There we go. There we go. Now I'm happy with it. And then I will just grab any old, let's say I have this box here full of pretty much um, little fabric bits. There's a few bits of paper that have made their way in there. But for the most part, it's fabric bits. Let's see, I have this piece of tool and this piece of paper, and I'm just going to kind of lay them together and then fold them up like so and then this one you kind of if you want to get the paper the, the other way you just kind of twist it and it, it it does this weird fold and but it looks fine it looks fine if you really don't like the way it looks you can totally add like a button or something over it I think it looks fine and then I like to just use a staple um, to attach that, to attach my little tag toppers, but you know, again, use whatever's appropriate to whatever you're you're doing, you know, and that will that will firm up nicely and be a nice place where you can write, you know, it'll be, um, it's this is a great way to salvage a book page, um, that may be a little bit on the brittle side. Let me grab a piece here. Let me see. This is a little bit on the brittle side. And so, let's see, just kind of skimming it to see if there's something I want to save or if I just want to go ahead and rip it apart. Because um, you could do this, another way you could do this, well no, we're not going to do that, that'll be another video. I just had an idea, but no, I'm going to stop myself, that'll be another, that'll be another video. Okay, so I'm going to fold it so that way all of this yummy, yumminess will be um, on the outside. See, like that. Like so. But I'm still gonna do the same thing with the glue. You know, just, just glue it lots inside and see what's really cool about this is because you're adding this layer of glue and you're doubling it up you know, this paper that was brittle, or that is brittle, you know, most definitely is still brittle. Um, but it's now doubled up. It's now reinforced. And all of those little tears just become, you know, these beautiful details. And because I don't want to smash that, that down, that ripple there, or not ripple, but that curl, I went ahead and just put the glue down that other edge. There we go. So, like so, and 
you know, you can do this, cut these wherever you like. I like to cut them kind of off center, so that way it's not the same, you know, every time. I have short ones and I have tall ones. There we go. And again, just add, add whatever, you know, little doodad you happen to have to add to the top. Eh, I don't like that one. Um, <laughs> see here. This is just some plain white muslin. That'll be really pretty. So, thank you so much for joining me for this Tag Tuesday. I know it was super, super simple. But, you know, sometimes we forget those super simple things until somebody else does it. And we're like, oh, yeah, I could totally do that. You know? So that's all I'm trying to do here. You know, just... Uh, bring those simple things back to the forefront because Lord knows I need simple things sometimes you know some weeks are easier than others and sometimes you know you still you just need a little easy craft a little easy something to do um you could anchor this down with rivets you know um, grommets I mean not rivets where they're bigger heavier but yeah so I hope that this inspires you to use up some book pages. You can ink them, don't ink them, you know, you can punch the hole and tie the string. You know, there's so many, so many things you can do here. So thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate every, every single minute we spend together. And don't forget to go learn something new today.